personally busy. But anyway, the, some reasons I hate Android. Um, one of the things I really don't like and that Apple has over um, basically any Android phone is software support. I don't like how when I buy, um, this happened last with my Samsung too. Actually, how I got into modding um, phones with Cyanogen Mod and things like that was I got a phone. And everything was great about it. I really liked it. It was a Samsung Galaxy S1 um, Vibrant. So it's the i9000M if you're an Android fan. Um, and it was a great phone and all. And I still have it. Actually, my wife's using it. But the thing I didn't like is that the software on it was really bad. And I, I kind of think that's because um, the, the software that was put on it was kind of buggy. And they, you know, they've got to have all these different versions of, of Android ready for every single phone. So... And they are slightly different versions. Like, I can't put the same version um, for an S2 on an S1. Um, or maybe you can, but most phones you can't. Like, you can't do that with HTC. You know, the processes are different. Um, anyway, so you have to customize them, and they're still working on that. But the thing that I hate is I was promised Jelly Bean. Um, and this is big to me because it's supposed to come with Google Now, which is our answer to... Surrey. And I mean, I really like voice rec and I've seen the power of Google now. I've seen the power of Surrey and, it, and it's amazing. And I really would want that feature. Um, even though it is kind of faster sometimes to dial, I'll admit, but you know, Surrey does a really good job and I want to really try that. And also Project Butter comes. That's another big thing about, um, about uh, um, Jelly Bean. So it's supposed to really um, be able to, and some people say, beat uh, Apple's, because Apple, one thing they have down is the touch sensitivity is amazing for an iPhone. And now with Jelly Bean, we're supposed to have, um, we're supposed to have this new uh, butter. It's called Project Butter. It's like this new thing that enhances the touch interface. And personally, I have an HTC One uh, S. That's what I'm recording this on um, at the moment. And I'm just using the front camera, the, the, the crappier one. Um, <laughs> I don't like that I don't have it yet. I was promised it back in October. I still don't have it. They're just releasing it now. And I also don't like HTC Sense. I hate it. Like, at first I thought it was kind of cool, but after using it and being a Cyanogen mod lover, I really want to mod my phone. And I've almost done it a few times, and I've, you know, decided not to because I really don't want to be without a phone. And, you know, sometimes that happens. It takes time to... I have customers that call me every day. Um, like today, I'm hopefully the parts are going to ship today. I'm building a computer. Um, it's going to be pretty cool. This old lady's going to get a bulldozer uh, CPU. Um, but anyway, I'll probably be, be filming that too. Um, but that's one thing I don't like about Android, you know, is the support for older phones. I mean, <laughs> that's really annoying because as soon as the next thing comes out, they're now putting out all these Nokia and, Sa and Windows phones, HTC is anyway, and they don't really care about my poor old, uh, about my poor old, uh, um, HTC here. So, that kind of pisses me off. And, you know, the thing about Android is, as much as I love it, it's definitely for me. Um, it's definitely for a tech, I think. But, I'll be honest with you guys, if I had, like, a whole, um, office full of older people, you know, people that were, you know, 40 to 50, I would definitely get them iPhones. And that's, just because there's way less things to worry about if you get an iPhone. It's like, you know, Androids are great if you've got somebody close to you that can help you and fix them and mod them if something's wrong. Because that's what happened with, like I was saying, with my first Samsung. Is I actually sent it back to the factory and they sent it back and it said it was fixed. And they hadn't done a thing. They hadn't reflashed it or anything. So that's how I got into Cyanogen Mod as I modded my phone. I'm sorry I kind of carried off there. Um... But I thought it was interesting because, like, you know, and now I'm I'm about to do it again. You know, I'm really unhappy with my HTC. I, I got a call the other day um, from uh, uh, a job perspective, and, uh, yeah, my phone glitched out. Just so happens I haven't had it glitch once, but I, I couldn't answer the phone call. Man, was I upset. So I'm pretty ha I'm hoping that I'm going to get, uh, I'm going to get that update soon. But uh, you guys tell me what you guys think. What do you guys think about some of the things that really pissed you off about Android? I mean, I wouldn't, I would never go to iPhone or iOS. Period. I'd never buy an Apple product in my life, um, unless you know I had to buy it for a customer, <laughs> um, which I'm sure I will one day. But the, the thing is, 
you know, there are some things I don't like about Android. I ain't gonna lie. Um, a lot, <laughs> there's a lot of them actually. Um, one thing I really don't like is, you know, the fact that with Android, you really have to like know what you're doing to do anything with it if you want to jailbreak it. Like I remember with I used to do uh, unlock iPhones and. The thing was, if I did want to jailbreak phones with iPhones, um, they call it unlocking in, in Android, uh, it was very simple. The hard part was, unlo was uh, unlocking them, not actually, um, not actually jailbreaking them. That was, that was actually fairly simple. But Androids are all different, and it's always kind of freaky when you, when you try to root them because you can break them. Um, so, and I, that's just from my experience anyway. Um, but I'm trying to find some negative things about Android because I think it's a good topic. Um, because there are some bad things. Um, the number one thing that you'll, if you ever go to a phone store, you'll hear is that they have way more problems with Android phones than iOS. I won't deny that. And that's, again, due to software. They're not very good at putting the right software on the right phone. With Apple, it's so easy. It's like trying to throw a rock at a barn. You just, you can't miss. You're, you've got the same, like, think how many models there are for the for each phone that comes out compared to like Samsung's and Android and, and HTC and you know the Nokia's Xperia line and all those different you know smartphones out there they all have to have different versions for each phone so Jelly Bean for for the HTC 1S is different for HTC um you know Windows oh, that's a bad example oh there's my notification that's great but the actual um, image that they used to install um, ice cream sandwich or jelly bean onto your phone is different for each model, where it's the same for the 4S. It's exactly the same for the 4S, for the other 4S. There's only one 4S. Sure, there's 4, 4S and 5 now, and, and of course iOS is different, slightly different for um, um, iPads. But it's the same stuff, and I really know this well, because I used to put iPad baseband's on freaking iPhone 3Gs just to unlock them. Um, so I, I know the firmware is very similar. I can get right down to the MD5 checksum. It's exactly the same. So wh whether I get down to the message digest or not, it's very different. Anyway, that's my thought on why I hate Android. Subscribe and let me know what you think. Later.